Good morning everyone. Don't I sound chirpy today? It's actually a really nice sunny day which has put me in a, ooh, in a great mood. It's Tuesday and today I've got a day in town. Uh, my hair looks like this because I'm actually going to the hairdressers. I'm going to Hershison's this morning. Not for colour this time, I'm going for a Brazilian blow dry. I'm very excited. I really should have them more frequently throughout the year because of my hair type but I just don't, I'm lazy and I find the process quite uncomfortable, it always makes my eyes stream. Actually maybe I should bring some spare makeup with me today because I'm going out tonight. Anyway, I'm going to have a Brazilian treatment done, it basically just, I don't get it done to make my hair dead straight, um, I just get it done to make my hair more manageable and easier to straighten, um, it just takes away the bulk and the frizz. So I'm going to Hershison's in Harvey Nichols to get that done. And then I've got some meetings in town, and then tonight I'm going to a very exciting event with my friend Debs. So I'm just sending some things from my laptop to my iPad so I can do some work in the hairdressers. I don't just kind of sit there relaxing. If I'm going to the hairdressers midweek, I make sure that I've got work with me to do. And then I need to head into town. Quickly show you what I'm wearing today. This vest top is old, it's from Monkey. Mm, I don't love it. I couldn't really find a top to go with these. These are new culottes from Urban Outfitters and I like them because they're very comfy and airy, great for a hot day but I struggle to find a top that kind of goes and um, you can't really see in this light. It's, it's okay, I don't love it. Necklace is whistles and then the shoes are from ASOS and then hopefully my hair will look better once it's, actually it won't, it will look so greasy because they put the product in and then they blow dry it in and I have to spend like the next four days with this like really really hydrated but like greasy hair oh dear i had these new little friends that i got on the weekend i actually got a big plant for my desk and then i got these little ones as well from ikea um they're really nice i just need to find some nice pots for them to go in because i don't have any so they're just kind of sitting here for now i really like this one spiky i just got to harvey nichols but whenever i have like a 10 o'clock appointment i always have to wait for the store to open because you can't actually get into 10 so i'm just waiting for it to open and i'm going to head up to the fifth floor where hershison's is based Okay, I have the Brazilian permanent blow dry on my hair, and this one's actually different. You can tell my eyes aren't watering because it's formaldehyde free, and it's purple. So this one, ooh, this is what it's called. Gil, the new Brazilian treatment, blonde. So it's purple, which is good, because then I won't get brassy tones in my hair. And this one you wash it out, so they'll put it on for 20 minutes and wash out 80%, leave 20% of it in, blow dry my hair and go. So I don't have to spend like four days with greasy hair. So much better, my eyes aren't stinging. If you didn't see, that is what it's called. Okay, I'm gonna embarrass myself and just vlog in public. I don't care, but I'm out the hairdresser now and I'm so glad that they've reinvented the Brazilian blow dry because my eyes didn't stream. It was so comfortable. I don't have to wait four days to wash my hair. I can wash it today if I want to. I'm gonna leave it in a couple of days, I think. The annoying thing is it's stripped to the colour that we did recently and me and Jason knew that would happen so my hair's a bit warm and orange again but I'm going back next week just to get my roots darkened so it's kind of back to how it was. So I'm going to have warm hair for a week but it's very straight and glossy and hopefully it'll make managing my hair a lot easier. I'm now heading off to a meeting in Little House which is like Soho House um, in Mayfair and I'll catch up with you after. Actually I think I'm going to go get some itsu first because I'm really hungry. God, it is boiling today. It's like 29 degrees. It hasn't been this hot here in a while. I'm now heading to the Gleam office. I've got like an hour to kill, so I'm gonna do some emails and then I'm gonna meet Debs at her office. Maybe I can sort through my PO box while I'm here. I'm just looking forward to some aircon, really. I'm now going to meet Debs at her work and we're gonna hopefully grab some food before going to Friends Fest, which is like Haggerston. I think that's East London. I don't really know where Haggerston is. Um, so I'm gonna head there now. It's so hot today. I'm trying not to get too sweaty in my outfit. Lovely. now hello. hello and she's brought me to block i've never been here before it's like dinorama was closed where i've been before so this is like another outdoor food market thing uh yeah i'm gonna get some food before we get a friends fest we're in the wrong place this is uh block we want to get a pump i think that's the next one along yeah it used to be a gas station yeah they're turning all the old petrol stations in shoreditch into that's what um dinorama used to be a petrol station as well yeah, and food markets. We ended up coming to Box Park and we got falafel in pizza. Yum. We found our way to Haggerston Park. I've seen some people with t-shirts that say friends. Oh, it's there! Oh my god, it's way bigger than last time. Wait, is that the way in? So last time it was just like in a small little place in Brick Lane. Now it looks like a proper outdoor festival. Oh, wow. Oh my god, this looks so cool. You love Friends! Also, Debs is the biggest Friends fan, which is why I always bring her to anything Friends related. 
My sister's like, how many of you not taking me? I was like, mm. obviously, friends. And your sister Debs gets first dibs. <laughs> Look at this, it's like full on friends fest. Ooh, there's champagne. Thank you. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> Central Park. Oh my God, I want a photo there. Okay, so I had no idea it would be like this. Last time it was literally in a tiny little, like, what even was it? Like a bit, like, a pub like in Brick Lane <laughs> pretty much um, this time it's an entire festival and there's like all these different things going on it's the press night time tomorrow opens to the public there's a silent disco hosted by MTV mega excited for that and like all these places you can post for photos I mean Deb's gonna take loads there's like a, a, a New York cab here there's a duck and um, chicken duck pub <laughs> So good! Okay, so there's a little red carpet and like a photo wall and Philip Schofield just turned up. Me and Debs love. I'm <laughs> beside myself with love. <laughs> He's my complete guilty pleasure TV crush. Going into the set. Exciting times. Guys, it's Central Park. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so <laughs> Thank you. Guys, we can't handle the Philip Schofieldness. We were just like standing right by him, trying to play it cool. We just weren't playing it cool. I can't concentrate around such good lookingness. He's like, he is up there, top ten crushes. Also, if his daughters watch your vlogs, you're very beautiful. <laughs> I doubt they do, but he has a beautiful family. Opening credits. Monica and Chandler and everyone else's Rachel's. Well, they, he, Monica and Chandler too. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, okay, Monica and Rachel's apartment. This is like the one we saw before. We've come for a sit down in the diner. There's like a Monica lookalike over there. Debs has a headache, but we have no paracetamol and the medic here isn't allowed to carry paracetamol. Oh my God, all my makeup's worn off, I look terrible. So I said she'd just go and ask women for paracetamol because there's enough women here. And I think like one out of five women carries, this is, I've, made up, I've made up the stat. One out of five women carries a new friend in their handbag, I say. So I'm trying to make Debs go and ask random women. Go on. We need to look for someone with a big bag. Debs, there's a bag here. Just ask this lady. She's going for it, she's going for it. No, I think it looks like a no. <gasps> oh, she's gonna check, she's gonna check. There you go! Were <laughs> they nice? So nice. <laughs> Guys, I got a photo I don't think we got the with Philip. We're not going to so be excited. Of, uh, Debs had to ask because I was too embarrassed. And now we're watching a band. And I got a photo of Janice, but she was looking the wrong way. To introduce Maggie Wheeler. I just realised I forgot to vlog when I got home, but me and Debs had such a fun time at Friends Fest. Can't believe I got a photo of Philip Schofield and Janice. Although Janice was looking the wrong way, so it wasn't a very good photo. I posted that on Twitter if you want to see it. Yeah, it was really fun. Debs didn't feel that well, so we left a little bit earlier, but we got to kind of see everything and enjoy the evening. It's kind of booked up, so I can't say like go, but next time it's on, you should definitely go because it was way better this year than it was last year. Oh my God, it's very hot in the flat tonight. I'm gonna end this vlog here, but I think I'll vlog again on the weekend, so see you guys then. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday today and I'm gonna vlog. Last time I vlogged was at the beginning of the week and so much has happened since then I've actually been really ill Friday and Saturday I was wiped out I literally haven't done any work I haven't even like looked at my computer I've just watched I think 14 hours of Gossip Girl um, I'll spare you the details but I just had a terrible headache and tummy bug and yeah it's been an awful 48 hours but thankfully I feel better today because I've got such a fun exciting day planned and I wanted to bring you guys with me first up I'm gonna feed my friend Lucy's cat and then I'm gonna head into Covent Garden and I'm meeting my mum and my sisters, Rich's sister and a couple of friends. But we're basically going to the Bobby Brown studio in Covent Garden for makeup lessons and like a makeover, which is why I'm not wearing much makeup. And then to Balthazar for tea and I'm really looking forward to it. 
Okay, I'm in Covent Garden and the first thing I want to do is go into the Charlotte Tilbury store because I want to get the translucent powder because Sam Chapman said it's the best one she's ever used, so I need to buy it. I just popped into Kiki K, which is a really cool stationery shop in Covent Garden. Now I'm going to head to the Bobby Brown Boutique. I think I'm going to be the first one here. It's like quarter two, we've got to be there at 12. And my friends and family are probably all going to be late, but I'm going to go wait for them in there. And then I think we're all going to have little separate makeup lessons and have our makeup like done. It's going to be really nice. We're in the Bobby Brown store and everyone's here. Uh, hello, no makeup. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> this is the little form we're going to fill out about my skincare and like concealer and foundation and go through the whole thing. And then do you draw it on here at the end? Yes, okay, yeah. I'm going to really nice. Okay, we've done foundation and I use the skin serum foundation that I haven't actually tried before. It's really nice. Very glowy. My makeup's done. I've come outside to show you guys. Look how pretty. Really glowy, nude, I mean like brown, smoky, lovely nude lip. This is what my mum looks like. <laughs> Very nice. Are you getting yours done now? <laughs> your go. <laughs> Gemma's having her go now. This is my self done. What are you going to go for? Um, I think we're going a bit smoky. Nice. nice. Um, maybe undecided, I don't know. I think maybe a more nude lip. Nice. And a soft. Everyone likes a lip that you can get drunk with and not have to worry that's about. That's I said, I don't reapply that that I'm no. not the person, so I'd rather the Everyone has the, 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 they think they're going to reapply and then they don't. Yeah. This is Jess's makeup. Close your eyes. So nice and shimmery. Yeah. Oh, really pretty. Acer and Sorin are here. Hello. Sorin's asleep. No. The life. JoJo's final makeup. Close your eyes. The line is so nice. Lovely. <laughs> we had such a nice time getting our makeup done. We all look very glowy. And now we're at Balthazar. We're having the Bobbi Brown afternoon tea. And I'm pretty sure the cakes are literally made to look like makeup items, makeup products. I'm just so excited. We're all very hungry. I'm going to demolish the sandwiches. Shaped. Oh, so so pretty. Just having scones, and I'm a cream and then jam kind of girl. Yum. I think we've been defeated. We might have to take some of this sweet home, sweet stuff home for Rich. <laughs> we finished a Balthazar and had a yummy tea, but oh my god, it was so much. We're all so full, so I've got some takeaway stuff for Rich. And I'm gonna head back up the tube and go home now. And then I'm seeing pretty much that lot again tonight. I'm seeing my sisters and Jess. We're going to Dinorama and Shoreditch. So I'm gonna get on the tube now. Do you like your makeover? I do. And I just bought some knickers from Lululemon, the ones that Anna recommended, so excited to try them. Is that a weird thing to say? I'm excited to try my no, new knickers. they're exercising knickers. They're not like walking around knickers. No, she wears them like normal. So she wears yeah, but them you like want dresses. to try them for exercising. No, I don't want to exercise. I want to wear them with like when I need no VPL. Yeah, <laughs> like when you're exercising. <laughs> I'm at Gemma's and I just remembered, I really wanted to mention this in my vlog, but I have been nominated for in style project 13 for best beauty blogger and I'm so excited it's a real honor especially in that category because I started as a blogger so it means a lot to me I've been blogging for six over six years now um, so if you would like to vote for me please do I'll put the link down below um, I think you've got like a week left to vote and I would just love it if you voted for me or for anyone else go see who else is in the category as well um, but yeah really I was really excited I found out last week and I just wanted to let you guys know in this vlog you vlogged me Rich is here. Hi um, everyone. Also, how's your day been? Today been pretty good. Changed. Me and Rich are heading back to Dinorama. I went there the other night and I snapchatted it, so you might have seen. I literally had the best chicken wings of my life there, and they've got like buns and all this amazing food. So we're going back with Carly, Ben, Jojo, Ryan, and Jess, Rich's sister. And I'm very much looking forward to eating some yummy food now that I can eat again. Rich is like, I don't think you should have the chicken wings, just in case your tummy doesn't like it. But I'm sorry, I haven't stopped thinking about those wings since I had them. So we're just driving to the overground, and then we're going to get the overground to Shoreditch. And head there. It closes at nine, which is a bit annoying, so we're not going to have that much time there, hoping it's not too busy. The rain stopped because it's open it's outdoors so oh my god my lips look so weird <laughs> Help me with one, so I've had three. 
and there's one more to go but they're just so messy to eat I'm getting it all over my face and there are lots of people here as you can see Hiccups and JoJo said, Want to know how to get rid of hiccups? It's true. You need a lemon. <laughs> it's true. Apparently, if you suck on a lemon, it gets rid of your hiccups. I promise you it's true. I promise you it's true. <laughs> but he doesn't have a lemon, he's on the train. <laughs> We're home. We had a lovely evening, ate lots of food. I'm looking forward to a cup of tea and some chocolate buttons and i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i can't even remember what i vlogged earlier in the week it feels like ages ago but i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of mix matchy vlog if you do want to vote for me for the InStyle blogger awards please do i'll be so happy i'm gonna leave the link below um also to all the viewers who i met tonight at dinorama hi so many of you guys and it was so nice thank you to everyone who said hi it was very nice to meet you see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>